Thanks, Marcus. Really great uh, functionality coming to Tracker as well in version 40. So we're really excited to, to see that. Um, and as you can see, there's a lot of there are a lot of things that that cross over between the different product streams. So as Marcus just mentioned, uh, this saved saved working lists functionality is in Tracker for web, but it's also in the Android Capture application. And as as Marcus mentioned at the beginning of his presentation as well, a lot of the uh, extensibility functionality, such as the routes API and and other things, the uh, the event hooks, um have uh, impact on, on use cases in Tracker as well. So really looking forward to seeing more of the uh, uh, kind of cross, cross cutting features and cross collaboration between the different product streams uh, to make DHS2 as a whole product really, uh, really shine. So we are just about out of time. So pretty pretty perfect timing on behalf of the presenters. Um, I did wanna say a huge thank you to everybody who made this release possible. That's all of the developers, all of the testers, all of the beta testers, the product managers, the design team, everybody who helps to put this, uh, put this release together, get it out to you today. And it is released as of today. So there was a release announcement on the community of practice. Uh, it's also available on dhs2.org uh, and you can go there to see some of the highlights of these features we'll be adding more kind of highlights and 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 uh, details about some of these features in the coming days and um, we have release notes and upgrade notes so if you're upgrading to version 40 be sure to read both of those uh, they tell you about what's in that release and also what you need to keep in mind if you're upgrading from a previous release of dhs2 um, I'm going to go ahead and actually click on these so that you can see them. Um, you can see here the announcement with all, a list of a lot of the features that you heard about today. Um, and uh, down here you have links to the upgrade notes that I just mentioned, where to download the latest release of DHS2, list of all the features, uh, the source code, lots of different uh, Fun, fun tidbits here. Uh, this is for both the ver version 40 of DHS2 as well as for version 2.8 2 of the Android Capture application. Um, so you can find this on the community practice. We can also find the version 40 uh, overview on dhs2.org um, that is linked from the homepage. So dhs2.org and you can click on the version 40 overview or the Android Capture version 2.8 overview. Um, and see more about those releases. And again, we'll be sharing more uh, kind of contextualized and deep dive uh, functionality um, uh, updates and documentation and those types of things uh, in, in the coming weeks. Uh, the last thing actually on this same this same point, um, you'll see at the top of this page and also on dhs2.org that we have the annual conference coming up um, in middle of June. So we'll also be sharing quite a bit more about the version 40 release and what's coming next in version 41 uh, with a big focus on quality and usability and technical infrastructure for that release. So we'll be we'll be uh, sharing more about what's coming when that's coming how we're how we're going about it how we're releasing uh, applications on continuous delivery to make sure that we're uh, giving uh, getting people as uh, quick access to bug fixes and new changes as possible um, so there, there'll, there'll be that and much, much more with a community of, of several hundred people in Oslo and also free access online for that annual conference that takes place June 12th through 15th. So feel free to register um, by going to dhs2.org to learn more. And finally, we want to hear from you. So there's that post on the community of practice. You can also access. Um, reach us by email, post at dhs2.org. You can also uh, just ask questions on the community of practice about the version 40 release. And um, if you wanna get involved with some of the design efforts that are going on, feel free to reach out as well. Um, or as part of that beta testing um, for the next release, um, we really want to, want to get engaged with the community. So we wanna hear from you. Please let us know what you think about this release, about the features that you just heard about today and any questions that you might have about the, the functionality that's in there, or maybe something that you think uh, we should uh, highlight or prioritize in the near future. So with that, I'll wrap it up today. Uh, I don't know if all the presenters can turn on their, their, 
their videos um, quickly to just to say thank you to the presenters, the product managers, and and uh, people from the different product teams for presenting your um, uh, features for version 40 today. Um, it looks like maybe maybe they're they're uh, already uh, <laughs> taking off, so not not going to turn off the, on their video. But thank you for all the presenters, and thank you to everyone for all the work that went into making this release um, a, a great one. And with that, we'll wrap it up. And thank you all for for joining. Uh, I know it was a long webinar. Uh, we'll also be chunking, taking chunks of it, and and putting those out uh, as smaller videos, hopefully in the near future as well. You can also go back and rewatch anything that you missed on the recording that is uh, going to be pretty much immediately available on YouTube. Um, it's also uh, linked from the community of practice. So once again, thank you all very much. I uh, hope you enjoy version 40 of DHS2, which is out today. And please let us know what you think. Thank you.